a first look at Evernote AI Note Cleanup. That's what we're talking about today. Hi, this is Frank Buck, and this is the place to be if you want to get organized and make it look easy. Evernote has released a new feature, and you just may have it already. And if you don't, you'll have it within just a matter of days. Go into your Evernote account and click in the body of an existing note or create a new note and click in the body. Now, at the top of that note, in the menu, look for a button that says AI Cleanup. Now, here's the first misconception. People create a new note, see the button, but notice it's grayed out, and they think they don't have AI Cleanup. Well, that's not the case. 100 characters are required for AI Cleanup to be active, so enter some text in a new note and watch the button become active when you reach 100 characters. So I gave it a try, and on the screen, I put 100 characters, and just for the fun of it, I ran AI Cleanup just to see what it would do on that short amount of text. So I clicked the AI Cleanup button. A screen appears that says, try AI Note Cleanup, so I do, and a circle starts to spin. Now, give it time. I'm not sure if this speed will increase in the future, but I'll tell you this, sure beats the time you have to take to proofread stuff. The result did make enhancements to my measly 100 characters. And if I don't like what AI Cleanup did, I just hit the back button and I've just undone the changes. When you look at the original and the clean version, there's a difference. And it happened without me having to manually add bullet points or bold important text. The content I'm looking at right now began as an Evernote note. I did some cleaning myself because I did share some thoughts in written form with other Evernote certified experts. As a next step, I ran AI cleanup. You see, I'm terrible at typos. Often when a word is capitalized, I don't get off the shift key quick enough and I wind up with an extra capital letter. Well, sure, I can let Grammarly underline those errors and fix them one at a time, or I can let AI Cleanup do it in mass. When you look at the two side by side, which do you like better? I told you 100 characters is the limit needed for AI Cleanup to be active. 6,000 characters is the maximum. Here's some other observations. When I ran AI cleanup on a note that consisted of only a table, it took the information out of the table and turned it into bullet points. Think of how many times that you've copied something like someone's email signature and you've pasted it somewhere else to have that contact information. And the result was a table. You then had to copy and paste individual items to get the desired result. It looks like here that I can paste that table in a new note, clean it, and then copy and paste my text somewhere else. I did notice that if that note contained a table plus some other text, the table was left intact. This does leave me with one recommendation for the future. I wish that I could highlight part of a note and have AI clean up, clean that part only. Maybe in the future that will come. Next, you can use the undo and redo buttons at the top of the note to compare the original with the clean version. And if you don't like what AI Cleanup did, just hit the back arrow and go about your business. But if you leave the note and come back to it later, the changes AI Cleanup did are permanent. However, you can use note history to restore a copy of your original. Some people may say, what's the big deal? My notes are simply for me. I don't really care if there's a misspelled word here or there or if punctuation is consistent. Well, here's the big deal. For those of us who write blog posts, newspaper articles, journal articles, etc., error-free writing is a big deal. It takes time to go through your own stuff with a fine-tooth cone to make sure that every bullet point either has a punctuation at the end or that no bullet point has a punctuation at the end. And sure, I can proofread my stuff, but, but when I do, my eyes see what my brain intended and not what's actually on the screen. It's nice to have that little help from AI cleanup to take care of those errors 
and do it in mass rather than me having to find them one at a time. So take it for a test drive and see what you think. If you're finding value in this content, there's plenty more where that came from. Come over to frankbuck.org. You'll enjoy the two free gifts that you get during those first couple of days. Thanks for stopping by. This has been Frank Buck, helping you get organized and make it look easy.